started taking the uh, inflatable bladder mould apart and realised the uh, camera wasn't running so I've already got the top half off, that came off pretty easy to be quite honest you can see I've got this real thickness of resin here so much of it oozed out when I put the pressure on unfortunately the bladder did start leaking so I haven't perfected that yet I have to endeavour to persevere Yeah, quite a thickness of epoxy here. Really goes to show how much extra you use that you don't need. Some fiberglass here. I think that might have been the little parachute I put over the, the the end of the bladder. So as when the bladder inflated, it pushed it up into the nose. That may have folded over and got got trapped there somehow. I thought I had something in the nose. None of those edges, that glass toe's really doing its thing around the edges, and I've still got all my shine. Not a single piece anywhere. So putting that thick, really, really thick PVA in does the job. Helps condition the mould, I think. That's what I've read anyway. So and I've I've learned through experience that putting it on thin doesn't work, at least the first few times. So yeah, two or three pulls would really loads of PVA on and then start putting it on with the sponge. Turn you off a minute, come back when I've cleaned up this part. Okay, I've cleaned it off and you can see those seams are pretty good. Very impressed with it. A little bit of twisting and the bladder managed to pull itself out. No splits in it, it just uh, must have been like a little pinprick, just, uh, just enough to lose pressure over time. And where the pressure's gone down, you can see I just got a the seams come away there, but that's not a, it's not a critical bit anyway, because I'll be cutting it off about there. So that's really in the sort of like the excess bit. Yeah, I'm very impressed with that for a first, uh, first attempt with the bladder. I'm going to chop it off. So as I can have a look inside now and also give it away. It feels fairly light really considering it's 1200 gram cloth and also 160 gram cloth as a veil. So there's a lot of fiberglass in there but it's, yeah, it's not that heavy and I've certainly got a lot of resin out of it. Okay, I've got the part I was going to use in the energy fuselage which I haven't glued in yet and I've also got the the canopy piece that I've cut off. It's exactly six ounces. Exactly the same layup. Four 
five ounces. Yeah, so I've saved an ounce of epoxy in this one because it's got the same amount of cloth in, so it's equally as strong, but one ounce lighter. One sixth lighter, yeah, that's quite impressive. And also, looking at inside at the uh, consolidation, it's got some really good consolidation on the seams there. It's actually better than I can do by hand compared to the other one. Probably not going to be able to see in there, but compared to that one, yeah, the, the consolidation is better. So, what that means is that these seams on this fuselage are actually stronger than the rest of the fuselage. So, it's actually a stronger part and it's one sixth lighter. So yeah, I think inflatable bladders have uh, have proved to me that yeah they're worth the effort. And my god it is a lot of effort, but yeah, good parts.